Hello, welcome to Charlie's Garage. Today's video is going to be about oil pumps. So what we're looking at right here is an oil pump that came off of a DT-466 International. And I can take you over here and show you an example of what it looks like when it's installed on the engine. So right here on this uh, Max Force, it's the same water pump basically, but you've got a hub right here that the uh, vibration dampener attaches to. Uh, and then behind this hub, which you have to use a puller to get off and it's interference fit. So you actually have to heat this hub up to get it to expand to fit back on. Uh, but behind the hub, this is the oil pump housing. So that gear set that I just showed you over here is actually what it looks like on the inside of it, right? So the reason why we're talking about oil pumps is of course oil pumps are designed to create the uh, flow of the lubricating oil that travels through the engine and helps lubricate and then also in some cases cool certain components. And one of the main things that you will have as an engine ages is a gradual loss of oil pressure that can be attributed to primarily wear in one of two areas and that would be your bearing oil clearance so where your crankshaft journals and your bearings meet the space between the journals and the bearings provides a restriction that creates oil pressure well what can happen is that the pump can also be one of the reasons for a loss of oil pressure because like all pumps, they will start to wear internally. And as the clearances get bigger inside of the pump housing, you'll start to leak between places that you shouldn't. So for example, when this one is installed, it should be up against the block, <clears throat> excuse me, and you shouldn't have too much leakage across this face. So one of the tests that we have the students here do is they'll take a straight edge like this one they'll put it over here and they'll measure the clearance that we have between the body and between the gear set and if that clearance is below spec then you know that might be one of the reasons why you have low oil pressure or why the oil pump might need to be replaced another test that we can do is if you look at this guy and we take this uh gear gear out do with one hand again um yeah there we, go. we take that gear out now it makes it easier to pull this gear up and you can see that this gear slides into this housing right here so what we also measure is the the space between the housing and this inner or outer gear right here um, because if that was excessive that would cause a leak and cause a loss of oil pressure as well um, and then there's another test that i don't know if international actually lists this test in the service manual i know cummins does and they call it tip clearance and tip clearance would be like, this is your actual pumping chambers. And you can see that as this rotates around that, that the pump, the, the oil clearance changes, right? So it forms a big space that draws the oil in. And then as it rotates, that space decreases and forces the oil out the outlet. And what will happen is as you're rotating uh, this gear set, the space right here between the gears that separates the pumping chambers from each other will start to leak by. So tip clearance would be measuring the space between these. And like I said, that uh, this would all be reasons why you would need to replace that oil pump. Uh, so in addition to uh, long-term loss of oil pressure, bearing clearances, and then we'll talk about those in a future video, maybe talk about how to use plastic gauge and how to measure journals and bearings and find out what the clearance is. But this would be the other reason for a long-term oil pressure loss right here would be the uh, pump uh, getting worn out. Um, some of the questions I get a lot is what about the sudden oil pressure? Because usually wear happens slowly, so this would be a long-term effect. And if you have a sudden situation where your oil pressure gauge is just doing this, right, fluctuating, then you probably have a high oil level that may be getting aerated by the crankshaft. So now the air is being sent through the lubrication system. And since air is compressible, it makes the pressure really erratic. Uh, the other thing you might have is where the gauge is reading high and then all of a sudden, boom, down to nothing and then back up again suddenly. And that could be from a low oil level. So sudden changes in oil pressure are often related to uh, issues with uh, oil level. Uh, there could be another couple of few reasons out there, but that's one of the main ones. Whereas a sudden gradual loss is going to be a pump, 
or the bearings. So I hope this helped uh, explain some of the things that uh, oil pumps do, whether they can go bad, how we can measure and test them to see. Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Please like and subscribe, and please share this video with other people that you think would be interested in learning about diesel components. Thank you.